Hi guys, second petrol truck which we acquired in our job lot, the first one being the Lossy DBXL. This one is an FG Marda. It's only two wheel drive, unlike the Lossy which was four wheel drive. This is a much cheaper, if that's the right word, buggy, um, much a little bit more uh, basic in, in its engineering, much more plastic on this. Um, it's, it's a cheaper buggy, it's a lower spec buggy. But it's still two stroke. It runs on a mixture of unleaded petrol and two stroke oil, 25 to one, which is what I've been told to use. Again, it has spark plug, which I did. You can see there, DVXO again had that, so it's a traditional spark plug. It has pull start, it has choke settings which are down there, which are a bit fiddly to get to. There's the priming pump. So again, this is not like a nitro engine. This is a proper two stroke, 23cc, yeah, 23cc, two stroke engine. And it's loud, this is very loud. This is louder than the DBXL. It's got, I believe, a tuned pipe on it, the chromed or the stainless steel pipe. So it does make it really, really loud. It isn't as big or not quite as heavy as the other one we had, the Lossy DBXL. It has also got, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's some sort of thing that increases the fuel pressure on the um, carb in there. You see it comes up there. And when it's going, this actually moves in and out under, under pneumatic pressure, which is great, gives it a bit more performance. But the only problem I've got is the body shell doesn't fit on with it. So we ran it. As you'll see, we've got a little bit of footage in a minute. We run it without the body shell on. So we need to look at how that's going to fit on. Or we can take that off. As I said, the same problem with this as we've got with the DBXL is where do we run it? It's noisy. It's even noisier than the lossy, actually. It is very loud. We can't run it in our usual places. We're going to upset the locals if we take it into the playing fields that we use it on. So we've got to find somewhere a bit different. And where I live in the UK, the nearest place we found at the moment is about a half an hour drive, which doesn't sound too bad, but it's not as convenient as when you can nip out in five minutes around the corner. We've got three or four places that we can run on the field. So we'll have to have a think about that. So this is two wheel drive, very simple gear driven system at the back here. Drives through to the drive shafts. Now they've got rubber boots over them to protect from the rubber. I don't know if they're universal joints. I suspect they're probably not because okay, this is quite a basic car. Pull start, as I said, switch there that cuts it off. Basic radio gear as you've got on all the cars, steering servo and high tech, which I'm not, it's a budget range high tech is really, they're, they're not the best of servos, but it works. It all works okay. We have had it started and it works. So we're gonna give it a run now same place as we took the lossy dbxl in the previous uh, video and again apologies these cars are so big it's finding somewhere good to film them to get some good pictures so this isn't the best quality um, video or place to film it but hopefully you guys can bear with it and we can improve on that we're going to give it a run see some footage there's a couple of crashes i know so here we go
magnetically attracted the cones. Here we go. Come past here. <laughs> Today we have a little bit of running. I think about a quarter of a tank of fuel we put through it. Didn't want to put too much through it. Impressed with how easy it started. One pump of the prime, a couple of pulls, and it started really easy. It was actually running very well. Very impressed with it from there. Speed-wise, it's not quite as quick as the uh, lossy, I don't think. But acceleration-wise, it's, it's it's pretty good. It's only two-wheel drive. It is a little bit lighter. It doesn't handle quite as well. The suspension on it is really stiff now i know these need to be quite stiff because of the weight of them but i'm not sure if it's needs a rebuild whether the shocks need a rebuild if you can see they are pretty worn it's quite a uh, had some use this car but the engine i've been reliably informed is actually quite low mileage i've actually got a spare engine for it as well so i think the engine is strong in it the electrics feel pretty good might just need a little bit of a bit of a minor rebuild just to look at those shocks but other than that it was not too bad handling wise i say handling was not too bad for the size of it uh, acceleration was pretty good. We've got a couple of launches there, as you can see. We've got a bit of wheel spinning, which was good. You ever said never going to get the same torque that you get from an electric motor. Electric motors will give you 100% um, of the torque from zero RPM, whereas with a petrol engine, obviously the torque comes in further up the power band or further up the rev range. And of course, you have effectively a centrifugal clutch, which is somewhere around there, which means it won't give you that instant bite. So you've got to rev the engine up for it to engage, and then it goes away. But in some respects, this car was actually quite a bit of fun. It's not too expensive uh, compared to the, the Lossy, which I keep referring back to, which is the other two-stroke petrol that we've got. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. The biggest thing, again, is just trying to find somewhere to run them. Again, these, you can get electric versions of these. So there is the thought, do we get hold of an electric setup? A six, well, it's meant to be an eight cell for this at least, I think. An eight cell or something even bigger to do some conversion videos on this and the lossy, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, leave, a, leave a comment what guys think we should do. And again, leave some comments on things that I have uh, missed or things that we've been wrong about. You know, is the fuel mixture that we're using right? As I say, on the uh, fuel um, additive, it says 50 to one, but mainly that's when you're using them on um, chainsaws and garden tools and things. These are much more stressed. And I've been told you should have a higher oil content up to 25 to one. That's what I've been using. Seems to run okay, but is that right? People can probably tell me, you know, whether we are right on, on that or not. And as a case, is there any other modifications that it's got that I'm not aware of? What is the name for this? I don't know exactly what this is. What that means on there, I don't know. But it works, it moves in and out, it just gets in the way of the body shell. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what that does. But I hope you guys have enjoyed that. As I say, these are. These couple of videos are a little bit of a, a venture away from my comfort zone. Electric's what I've always done. Petrol, nitro, dab with nitro a little bit. These say these are not nitro, these are proper two-stroke petrol. Again, never really dabble that, never really dabble anything like dirt bikes or anything like that. So these are a venture into the unknown for us on this channel. Um, whether we develop these a bit further, I, I don't know, but they were a, a job lot that we bought and they're a bit of fun but they are loud. So thanks for watching, guys. Please do subscribe, share, like, the usual things, and we'll be back with some more videos soon.